Let's head out to New Channel 5's Tony Sloan. Tony, what are you seeing out there now? Well, so in the words of some of the people that we talked to at the church and this fine art center, they say it's just heartbreaking. The power is out in this area and it has been since the storm rode through. But just take a look at this damage that has ripped this school apart and flooded the Walnut Missionary Baptist Church here on Walnut Grove Road. The Clarksville School of Fine Arts took most of the damage here. And the people who work at both of these buildings, they left not long ago, but you could still see the left behind items as they tried to pick up the pieces and save whatever they can. We're told this building is about two years old, the school, but the church has been here for over 150 years. Now, the church doesn't have a lot of outside structural damage, but they do say that most of the damage is on the inside. It's completely flooded. And they say much of what's inside is just hanging on by a small thread. We actually spoke to a deacon of the church who says that they've never seen anything like this in the area. And the arch director for the school says that they're just having to build from scratch. Both of them say there's a lot of work that needs to be done in this area. And the damage is not just confined here. It's also across the street at a cemetery where a lot of debris and structural damage has pretty much blew over into that cemetery from about maybe three miles away. We found a, a Zaxby's drive through window that was actually blown into that cemetery and we're told that that Zaxby's is far away from where this area is over again three miles away near a Walmart. So a lot of damage they say needs to be cleaned up. Of course we're going to continue to stay out here and let you know all the latest that we see out here but most of them say they'll be back in the morning to continue to try and assess the damage. I'll send All it back right. to you in the studio. All right, Tony, thank you so much for that update. Of course, we have other crews working their way around Clarksville as well. We'll try to get you updates from them as soon as we can. But we also want to pass along that Clarksville police say a shelter has been set up for people impacted by the storms. It is located at Northeast High School on Trenton Road, as Henry mentioned just a moment ago. And the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office also says a temporary shelter has been set up at the Mosaic Church on Garrettsburg Road. That's for any residents who were displaced in that area. Of course, lots of people are still without power tonight and will be for several hours. Clarksville's electric utility CDE light band says at least 17,000 people are without power in Clarksville and Cumberland Electric Membership Corporation is reporting around 1500 are without power in the county. So of course we will continue to monitor that as well.